I love my community. Black excellence, that's what you do to me. Positive vibrations. I'm a god, no Satan. I'm a god. I was raised with the killers. But my plan is to heal ya. I'ma heal ya. Intellectual mind frame. Check it out. I'm a player, so I peep game. Yeah, yeah, we're about to get into another segment one time. So look, <clears throat> I'm going to dig right into it. <laughs> Y'all see what it is. So look, this is a wild little story. I just thought it should be uh, shared, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, but it's cool. It's, it, sound, it seems bad, but it, it's cool. And it's just, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so this is how the story goes. Boom. I had ended up going to jail and shit. Um, I catch the chain. I go to uh, Delano for reception from the uh, wayside. Just many moons ago. This is past tense, but I'm just giving the story. So then, boom. They sent me to this little... My, my points was low, because if you know about jail, you get, like, points and shit. And then uh, I had, like... I think I had, like, six months left. Cause I did like six months in the county. I was in reception for like three, four months, something like that. I can't remember. And then I had like another six months or some some shit like that. Whatever. So boom, we go. We like in Central California, like kind of by Bakersfield. Like I think, or it might have been actually Bakersfield in that little area, whatever. Boom, we go to this like little little uh, private prison. Uh, so I'm like, damn, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Because it looked it kind of different. You know what I'm saying? But it was that's because it was a dorm living. And everybody there had like violations, or they had like three years and under to finish. So, and, it, and it was like low level. Some people came from high level, and then some people just already low level. Blah 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 blah. If you know what I'm talking about. So boom. Um, we up in there. And it was smooth. It was still a little shit going on, of course, because it's still jail, still little fights and different little bullshit going on. You know, everybody, people having altercations, blah, blah, blah. So it was this one dude. He was my partner, but he was Jewish. <laughs> and he was from Detroit. I ain't going to say his name, but he, he, he my boy. I still be talking to him from time to time on the Internet, like every now and then. Boom. But he used to, he grew up around blacks and then he loved hip hop. So he was like, you know, always talking about Eminem and all this shit. In the woods, they didn't like that shit. Because he used to, you know, try to be cool with us so much. <clears throat> and really like hang with us. So one of the other homies, he was from Long Beach. He had told him, you know, he had cracked the joke. Like, you know, if you would have came here and lied. Because it was another wood. But he was from Long Beach in a different dorm. Uh... He used to come hang out with us when we'd go to yard, and then he he told us he was like, you know, if you'd have lied, he just said you was like a blood or a crip, you could really be with the blacks, cause he was like, man, I, I really just hang with y'all, but I can't. So he's like, yeah, cause you a wood, they not gonna really let you hang with us, like, cause you could talk to different races and shit, but um, and he had to run wood even though he was you know Jewish technically. He just, but he hated that shit. He was like, man, I, these dudes don't fucking like me. They used to talk shit about him, go fuck with him, clown him. Some of them was cool with him, a couple of them, but most of them just didn't even talk to him or they'd just be on some bullshit with him all day, fucking with him. And if he got stored, they'd come fuck with him. They was, they was kind of dogging him out. I was like, damn. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's because he was uh, he was Jewish or whatever, you know? They they little politics or whatever. But he's, and I, and I told him, I said, damn, that's crazy because. They don't like your ass because you're Jewish, but they ain't want you to run wood. Like, they should just let you fuck with us. You know, we didn't care. You know, blacks, we don't give a fuck. We, we fuck with whoever fuck with us. We don't give a fuck about it. We don't be tripping off that politics shit like that. To a certain degree, we do, but, you know. So, boom. One of the white boys, he was like, they uh, they rep. So, he was cool. And uh, he, he didn't really trip on He used to tell them little shit like, hey, you doing too much? He's like, I ain't tripping, but, you know, he was cool as fuck. He was like, because he was like an older dude. He's like, I ain't tripping, but like, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if too much go on, then he got to kind of say something. Because his other, you know, people that he got, his other little uh, people in his crew that, you know, he, that he fucking with, that's, you know, high in the ranks. He got to still, you know, report and do a little shit. Boom. 
I'm, but I, I used to talk to them every day, like the, uh, the other wood dude too. Cause some woods, they not necessarily racist. They just running what they, what they race. They just running white. And then some of them is skinhead. Some of them's, you know, Nazi lowriders. And some of them is on nigga. We don't like niggas and you know, all that shit. Some of them is on that. And then some of them is like, they just doing their time and they, they not like that. They just, but they, you know, they running, you know? So me and one of them in particular, uh, one of the head dudes, we chopping it up like every day. Like he was cool as a motherfucker. And he slept like, like to the to the side by me, kind of, but like over. We used to chop it up every day. He was cool as fuck with wood. And uh, you know, and then some of them I didn't talk to because you know they had that shit tatted or they'd just be acting weird. And I'd be like, whatever. Like, but but it is what it is. You can't really start nothing because you start a whole fucking riot. You just like, okay, he he with that program. Okay, nigga, I'm watching you. But so this dude, we talking every day. We chopping it up. We clowning. And I noticed some of the woods used to act weird. And they'd come talk to him or come say something to him. Kind of look at me. I look back at him. They won't say nothing, though. And then uh, I was like, huh. And then he, but he was cool. He'd, he'd keep talking to me. He never, like, he never changed up. Then one day, I look, he has some shorts on. <laughs> this nigga had a swastika on his leg. I'm like, what the fuck? So I had to say something. I said, hey, man, what the fuck is that? He like, what? I said, that fucking tattoo, fool. He was like, oh, man, this shit when I was younger. Whoa, whoa. I was like, I didn't know you was part of that shit. And I wonder your ass to rep. I, I didn't, because it didn't really click. Because he was so cool. So we started chopping it up. And he was like, yeah, man, when I was younger, you know, I used to, you know, be on bullshit. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. But I'm older now. I know. Everybody human. Everybody, you know, if you cool, you cool. It ain't even about race. You know, this is some shit when I was younger. I kept going to prison. You know, he was chopping it up with me, telling me the real though. I kept going to prison and I just fell under the shit and was on bullshit. But he's like, that shit ain't cool, bro. Like, I don't, I don't do that no more, man. I judge people for who they are. And I said, yeah, motherfucker, you been talking to me every day, motherfucker. <laughs> so we kind of clowned about it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, that shit just blew my mind because all of this motherfucker used to be, a, uh, you know what I'm saying, one of them boys. But uh, my point of the story is, though, like, uh, if you know about jail, it's all about respect. It don't matter if you, who you don't like, who you who you like, whatever. It's all about respect. So I never had a problem. Only problem I had, I was hungry sometimes. I mean, I was eating, but you know, because you get tired of that bullshit food, you want some other shit, like some real shit. But I was hungry and, you know, I was missing kicking it around females. <laughs> I used to flirt with guards and little bullshit, but you know, try to keep me, you know, cool. But uh, a, a lot of a lot of shit, you know, because people always brag about, you know, when you younger, or you hear people talk about jail, they always talk about the good shit. Oh, I went in there and we was kicking it, and I was running into this person and that person, and we lifting ways getting swole. They tell you the good shit. They don't tell you all the bad shit about they make you sign a paper. In case something happen where you want to, you know, who you want us to notify if you die. Like, you know, some scary shit they tell you when you get to reception, you know, I did. Like, damn, what's going up with this motherfucker? And by the way, when I was in reception, that shit was going up more than when I went to mainline. They had a riot like the day before. It was like, man, there ain't no bee yard. I don't know what they doing now. This was many moons ago, but that shit was rocking. I was like, ooh. <laughs> That shit was rocking. I was like, boy, this shit is real. This shit is crazy. But uh Yeah, but if you if you know about that shit, it's all about respect, man. Like, you know, and me, I'm just naturally a humble dude. I just be chilling doing me. So I had no problem. People was like, this your fourth, fifth term, huh? I could tell you, oh gee, you just be chill. I'm like, nigga, this is my first term. Like they people like, man, you you standing strong and solid. I like, it's just how I am. I'm just being me. I ain't trying to be in everybody's business. You know, I ain't trying to be a part of nothing. You know, kudos to whoever do whatever they do. Everybody do their thing. I'm, 
I'm just chilling, doing me, doing my little shit, and I'm out of here. I ain't, you feel me? If somebody got a problem, I run these knuckles up. You feel me? But uh, other than that, I'm not going around starting shit. I'm not in everybody's business. You know, you, you never supposed to do that. You just do your shit. You know, I had a couple cats I was fucking with, and you know, and that was it. Everybody was cool with me, but I, I had a couple cats I fuck with, and that, that'd be it. I don't, you know, I just seen niggas crash out. They go, be in everybody business and running their mouth and next thing you know this nigga over there getting knocked out dp we running them off the yard running them off the damn all kind of crazy shit was you know it'd be some wild shit going on but it's just how you carry yourself so i learned no matter what race you are my point of the story is it's all about respect whether you ex this or ex that or even some people might be current you know i remember i seen this one white boy he he, did, he had the same mentality in the county jail. He said his black, his best friend was black, but he had a damn swastika tattoo. He was telling, he was explaining to this other dude, same kind of story like how my mind was. He was explaining to this other black dude, like, man, it's just some jail shit. Like, oh, my best friend black. And he was like, why you got that shit tattooed? Thing? Like, oh, cause you know, but they politics is different. I don't know. Maybe he was young and he got scared and got that shit tatted, or he just got it tatted so they could shut up. I, I don't know, but. Someone be having some different little stories like you would have got that shit tagged. That's kind of different, but <clears throat> it is what it is, you know. <clears throat> but it's all about respect, you know. Carry yourself with respect on the streets, and if you ha get into some bullshit, you have to go do that. <clears throat> go sit down for a minute. Carry yourself the same way, you know. Just uh, be respectful, and everybody gonna respect you. The Mexicans, the blacks, the uh, the others, you know, Asians, Samoans. Um, the woods, whoever, everybody gonna respect everybody. That's what it's about. Yeah, you got people that start shit and be weird and just be on bullshit. Some people just be on bullshit and they, you know, and that's their thing. But for most of the part, if you're respectful, it get you a long way. It, you know, and you learn, you get the, you get to know. Like, damn, everybody kind of the same. You, this person from the area you never heard of. This person from the area you heard of. This person from, you know, from out of town, but they got caught up out here. <clears throat> you just learn that a lot of people got a lot of shit in common because we all human at the end of the day no matter your skin color nothing a lot of us but we just it's our, our circumstances of uh, where we was at or growing up or what we did you know you might have both hit the same type of lick <laughs> and he white and you black and y'all might have grew up in the same area he black and you Mexican you know what I'm saying just different shit everybody got a lot of shit in common and that's what a lot of people realize and they still realize it to this day. Like a lot of us got shit in common. Like what? Are, what? Are, what is the real war? It's really, it's really bullshit, you know. But uh, yeah, man, respect everybody. Respect everybody. That's what it's all about. That's the moral of the story. <clears throat> Cause I would have never, if I didn't see that tattoo, if I didn't catch it, I would have never thought dude walk, had that walk of life in his life. Cause he was so cool. But you know. He was so cool, he explained to himself. And it was it was cool. It wasn't like a bad thing. Like he was not scared or nothing. We was chopping it up, grown men. And we was laughing and all that. Cause it was some real shit. If you know, you know. But uh yeah, man. Um that that's that's the little story I want to share for the day. Just uh, you know, realism will get you a long way, man. That's all I gotta say, man. <laughs> you know, most definitely, man. Everybody out there have a blessed day. Stay humble, stay safe. You already know, stay positive, most definitely. One love, peace. What it do, what it do, y'all. Thank you for tapping in, ladies and gentlemen, with your folks. Peace and blessings to the most high.